I got still got change in oil soaking that rear chain because it rusted. I'll go out there in a while and get it and hang it up. I guess I might as well just get started. I had I was going to work on it yesterday, Sunday, but I uh, had a welding job to come in and that pays more money than this. So, uh, what I'll be doing, I'll be pulling this carburetor off and uh, uh, taking it apart. Let me see if we get a pin and put it in. So I can have some. Let you see what I'm doing. What I'm thinking about, I need to turn on the. Well, I'm thinking about, I need to turn on the. Uh, uh, Sonic cleaner, let it be warm enough. Pull this cleaner out because it's about half. I'll be back in a second or two. Okay, I'm back. Now, I didn't notice it, but I had, well, I guess not upside down for you. Uh, this is a basket on my Sonic cleaner. And I use these, I got two of these. And what I do is I put my small parts inside this and uh, I put clips on it. Put that down inside the sonic cleaner beside this and the carburetor down the side of it. Now sometimes it's too big. And I just bought some small round type uh, cleaners, but I don't, know where, I don't remember where I put them. So. We'll have to wait till I find them. We've got to cut this fuel line off, clamp it off. Sometimes those squirrels, I swear it makes, they make it sound like somebody's walking around out my shop, out my yard. I'll be right back. Yeah, I got up this morning, it was 54 degrees. That's what my thermometer said, but now the TV said it was 71 degrees. But uh, I don't know if they're wrong or my thermometer's wrong. Let's see what the laser says. Let's see. Find something pointing against. It's six degrees. All right. So I guess I 
Mine works better than theirs does. I don't know. I got. I may buy me a new Sonic cleaner. This one here is just a little bit too small than what I got. Huh. I gotta loosen that plate up I, up there up. Top of the carburetor. Yeah. And I believe my uh, Flashlights, all of them going out my new one that I had. It had several different ends you can put on it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. end like this, like this one right here, well, yeah, end like this right here, but you could take, pull this back, pull this off, put that end on there, and then you got one that's got a long ribbon on it, uh, it's a, I call it a, barrel light. They're good for looking down for barrels to check them for rust and stuff. Well, the uh, You ain't even seen what I am. Let's see. Get back up where you belong. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking the uh, throttle off the throttle cable off the. And take this thing halfway apart just to put the uh take the carburetor off. Thank you. 
I know I'm in your way. Sorry. I have no other way of putting it up here. This will be the first time I've had to use this. <clears throat> Thumb. Ratchet. Well, I thought it was a ratchet. It's not. But it works. Excuse me. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, I did a little bit of flea market looking. We had to go out yesterday. A neighbor of ours passed away. She was uh, 84, and her husband called me. Her husband called me yesterday afternoon and said that uh, she had uh, she passed around right around 4:30 yesterday afternoon, and uh, we were expecting it because she'd been sick for a long time. I know what he's going through because I took care of my mother-in-law when she had some elderly or whatever you call it. I never could quite pronounce it right. Alright. Got spray. And uh she's in God's hands now. I'm not all that much of a religious person. And I never claimed to be. But I believe he's there. I believe that. And I don't believe you're going to die and go to hell for everything you do. Like my parents used to tell me. And I just can't believe he's that. That, uh, what do you call it? Uh, can I say? All right, let's get back on this carburetor. Get off of that. All right, now, back down here. All right. This is a sediment bowl. And if this thing's been set for two years, I expect, well, somebody's had the carburetor off. I don't want to get a picture of that. You see it? No. You see it? Look that carb look that bowl. Ah, wrong hand. It's sitting sitting cockeyed on there. It's not even got a good seal. It's, he said it leaked, and it's leaking all right. Uh. 
I hope if I have to buy a kit for this thing, I hope I can find one. Let's see. Huh. Cockeyed as it can be. Hmm. All right. Let's take this off and see what kind of shape that float and everything is. I well, probably took that bowl off to check it float and didn't get couldn't get crap back up on there. Well, the gasket's messed up. Okay, I'm gonna check this off. See if it's got any pressure on it. I do over here in front of you where you can see it. Okay. That sounds good. It's stuck. Yeah. Now let's see if it do anything. Nope, still stuck. Okay, so it needs to be cleaned. Needle valve looks good. Looking down in here, I don't know if it washes it out too much, you can't see it. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, but I've got a trash fire burning out back. I'm burning some limbs and stuff. And uh, ever since I had a house fire, I don't like to leave. Leave that go. I like to check it every once in a while. Okay, let's check this separate bowl and see how much trash it's got in it. It's got a little bit in it. I don't think it's anything to worry about. Give me a Q-tip out here because it's right in the bottom of it. This bowl comes down. Let me see. Yeah, this bowl comes down. It's got a see that center part in there. I wish I could get you some lights where you could see. Okay, let's see. Get you down here. All right, you see it now? The only place in sediment is down the very bottom part. And uh, it's going to be easy to clean out. I'll put it in a, in a sonic cleaner anyway. Turn it upside down. Make sure I get it all out. All right, now. You look inside that sediment there, that's fairly clean. Alright. I gotta pull that O-ring out. 
because sonic cleaner did o-rings don't like sonic cleaners okay huh. I know you can't see what I'm doing all right There's your fuel cut off. Yeah, that's your fuel cut off. And that screw does not want to. There it goes. Kind of felt like it was about to break on me. I don't want to break that screw. Well, my flashlight quit on me. I'm going to try something. The blue battery that came with this, see how the bowl looks. It's got a little trash in it. Not too bad. So I'll put that in the sock cleaner. The uh, put that nut in there. I had to put that in a little screen and do it separate. But the uh, these batteries that come from Harbor Freight. I mean the the uh, lights that come from Harbor Freight. They use a blue battery. It's a lithium ion. 2600 mAh, it's a uh, milliamps per hour. And 9.6 WH, I guess what stands for watts. I don't think it's watts, but anyway. I want to see if this will stop going off. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a light. Now, this. This is out of an old, an old, uh, uh, battery for a drill. Now I've got some other batteries up here, and I've got a charger, but <coughs> I don't think it's made for lithium ion batteries. You see, no. It's made from nickel. Cadmium and nickel hydride. So that maybe we won't run my batteries because I did charge them up a couple times in it. And I forgot about this light, this little bitty light. I'm going to carry this light in the house with me because I want to try and see if I can order some batteries. Well, <laughs> hell. There we go. There we go. It works. <laughs> 